My name is Dominic, and this is the first episode of Brutally Honest Analog Horror Reviews. Yes, that's the real name of my series. Religious themes, my tummy hurts. <coughs> For me, it breaks emergent. In the context of the SCP Foundation, it, it, it absolutely makes sense per the universe, the lore. In comparison, ask the questions, nah, whatever. I don't know what this is. Don't even get me started on the fucking Zalgo text in the, what is it, what are they called? Um, captions. I just don't like the robot. It looks like the image started getting scary, and then the creator just fell asleep and left it as it was. Then we get some more... Oh shit, wait, hold on. Ah, la 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 la! La 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 la! Everybody's going in a park and being in time. Dancing in the desert, blowing up. sunshine because there's not a lot of it it is used it is used sparingly the sudden bouts of violent wait i just think that the silence should be used sparingly if not more over abundantly and if you can't balance it you should experiment more with your use of audio anyway one of the women walks in one of the women walks into the cave you rob us of the ability to see the false Gabriel's face at all. So... Now there's alternates! In fact, I would say... Magnifique. Okay, um, let's... <coughs> if it's supposed to be targeted at children... TV? But the way that it intercuts into a different... The first alternate is just Method Steve. This guy is good! That's the employee of the month, Method Steve! He's there at 6 a.m. because he hasn't slept in like eight months. I really wish that the transitions were handled. <clears throat> I really wish that the transit. <laughs> He's supposed to be the normal person. The dialogue was. Whoops. Mm, well, yeah, okay, but did you close all the doors and windows? Can I drink this yet? To Griff And that is and that is far superior and that is far superior in my opinion. <coughs> there it is. We'll just try again and hope for a different result tomorrow. It's just like are you supposed to write? Very sexy, very current. Wait, what? There's a Nosferatu cameo. Very sexy. Uh, there's a Nosferatu cameo. Now that it's been made into part of the special in... Okay, I messed up. Anyway, I'll just put it together later. Cheers. No, I will not read it again. Thank you. <coughs> we jump from. Oh, also. Nope. 
The overall themes of the Mandala catalog and the way they're executed is itself very consistent, and it all makes sense nicely. The compared shots of the window are fun, but they're still pretty goofy to me. This guy just kind of looks like a Teletubby with a birth defect. Truthfully, at my very first glance, I actually thought it was just a weird... I actually thought it was just a weirdly bent light pole. It took me a second to realize that that was supposed to be just a friendly giraffe-like alternate surely here to give me candy. When literally confronted with actual footage and actual evidence of the alternates, the police go, I just think it's, I just think it's kind of hokey. My fault. My fault. My bad. I, I fucked it. My fault. Okay, anyway. I just think it's kind of hokey. To me, it's a problem when almost every single character delivers lines in the same generally purposeless manner. It sounds like they're doing exactly that. They're sitting in front of a phone, reading lines, and then saying, okay, well, I'm gonna go ma And then they're like, okay, well, you know, now that the lines are recorded, I'm just gonna go eat my mac and cheese, you know, sit down and watch some Netflix. It's just... There was just no evident care taken with the line delivery to me. Side note, I do like this police commemoration video, which just cements the fact that the police fucking suck and don't give a single shit about anything happening to the people in this county. Children are dying, Mary. I will never back down from my civic duties to protect the city, or whatever he says. It's just a load of shit, and we all know it. That motherfucker is lying through his teeth, and I can really appreciate the realism. Just like in the original volume one should have been kept in line where it belongs just for the you couldn't find anyone else to do this for you you really just use the same person and don't tell me that it's not mark okay i've done my fair share of internet sleuthing that guy has the same ears the same butt chin the same big square forehead you take those sunglasses off right now and we'll be met with the iconic eyebrows of Marky Mark. While we sit back creating <clears throat> After Nobody's segment, we're made witness to a 911 <gasps> It's a fucking David Lewis Lewis It's like if the Lisa jump scare from PT had sex with the Bong Chong Dong go Bong Chong Dong Bong Chong Dong Bong Chong Dong Bong Chong Dong You've reached the Bythorn Paranormal Society. How may I help you? You've reached the Bythorn Paranormal Society. Oh my god. What? You've reached the Bythorn Paranormal Society. How may I help you? Society. You've reached the Bythorn Paranormal. You've reached the Bythorn Paranormal Society. How may I help you? You've reached the Bythorn Paranormal Society. How may I help you? Like, what, dude, what is this fucking voice acting? <laughs> section of the recording is a fucking disaster. Along with the bad acting, there's an overabundance... Blah, blah, blah. I hope you can't hear that. The deep web art style returns, unfortunately, along with some extremely unsubtle graffiti that surely no one is going to take notice of. Um, so I'm not gonna take it seriously either, because I fucking don't like it. I think, uh, volume four sucks. Let's try again. I'm fucking shaking in my goddamn boots. <laughs> uh, but it reminds me of the way that I felt watching the first... The reason why I made this video is because... Well, when I was younger, my mama told me that I had to stand up for what I believe in, even if I'm the only person standing. And if you didn't like this video, but you're still here... Guard!